So what we have right now is a window based application. So it's a window based template with all the files that are there. We'll look at the files in a while. Let's look at Xcode a little bit more. Um, so what we have is on the left side we have a run button if you look at the run button if i just run it i have not changed any code i have not written anything and if i just run it it will just open the ipad simulator even though it's iphone application and it will show as a small application as if it's an iphone application the thing is what i've done here is selected ipad simulator if i select iphone application run it again it will stop the previous application open iphone again and run the application in an iPhone it's a window based application there's nothing in it just a window on it uh, so I can stop the application from running and here I can see the name of the application and which device I want to run it if I want if I have a device connected it will show up here and I can run in a device or I can run it in a simulator iPad simulator iPhone simulator we'll look at these devices in a little while um, then we have breakpoints you can enter breakpoints anywhere on your file and enable it or disable it by just clicking this button so this is very helpful we'll look at breakpoints when we do some real coding and here in the center we have a status of the entire application what the application is doing right now what it's going through uh, next to it we have editor options you can just look at the, the file you can look at the a couple of different files you can have compare your current file with the repository so this is helpful I normally use this view um, you can also enlarge your working area so by removing all the different views that are there or you can get all the views in in here and uh, work with them so there's views on all the sides so I normally prefer using the entire space so I can see the entire code and I'll be using it this way just to switch between files I'll use this where I can just select different files as and when it's required next thing is organizer so what this organizer has is if the currently it's selected uh, documentation file so it has vast amount of documentation entire iOS 3 library is uh, documented inside as always 4.3 libraries documented inside this so you can get any and everything about Xcode over here or iOS programming here this archives if you archive something it will come up here we'll see what that is later you it will shows all the projects that you're working on uh, right here by clicking on projects it's a little slow but okay so there it is all displays all the projects it shows all the repositories that I have used for my projects it also so shows you the different iPhones that are connected to um, that have been used in this particular computer for programming so that's organizer let's get out and let's see what else we have so at the bottom we have file structure we have different tabs here where you can see warnings you can see threads you can see breakpoints you can see what's going on and this the first one is the file structure so what does the file structure show it shows the project if I right click show in finder I can see the project and the project folder where it has rest of the files you'll see the organization over here is not as same as here because this lets you let's Xcode organizes files for you in a better way so you can arrange them according to your preferences like I can create a new group and call it say main files and I can just copy and paste this so this it will not create a folder here with the name my main files it just just for representation just for organizing your code so that's why this is here and uh, there are a bunch of different folders here which you don't see in your actual project let's go ahead and see what they are so when the application runs first okay let's look at from the bottom so the products products has hello world app this is the final product that gets installed on a simulator or on a phone so that's that products we're never gonna touch it it's gonna create automatically whenever we run the project so and then there are some frameworks UI kit framework foundation framework core graphics what Apple does for you is it writes all the code for you all the basic uh, features functions elements that you use we'll look at these uh, in as and when we work more on it but 
these are the framework that has all the different kit uh, tools that you need all the different elements that you need for making an iPhone app and about here so we have supporting files what are supporting files supporting files has uh, hello world info plate this is information about your project so it has all the different project information about your project your bundle identifier your icon file if you, your name of the app it, if it has dollar and curly brackets and product name it gets it from the from the app properties so and then it has bunch of different things you can add a bunch of different things or remove it one of the one that i use quite often is uh, it's called I'll just say add row and inside add row I can just say um, say icon already includes gloss effect so it doesn't add that gloss effect if I say yes and I run the project what you'll see is I use a lot of shortcuts uh, keyboard shortcuts I just press window uh, product command R which is for running the project so if you look at the icon now you know it has a gloss effect so if I delete this file and run it again now what you'll see is it still has a gloss effect icon already includes gloss effects yes no why didn't it add it one second let's try again add row icon already includes gloss effect I'll say yes clean it and run it and when I run it, hopefully now it will. Hmm, strange, it's not working. I don't know what's what's going on wrong. Anyway, let's let's move on. So this is kind of all the information about a file. There's a strings where you can keep some strings. Then there's hello world pch. This is pre-compiled header file which com pre-compiles some of the frameworks for you, so it doesn't have to compile it again and again, which takes time while building the project so it pre 